Hey guys, what's going on? So today we're going to go over an introduction to the ADM formalism for quantum gravity. So with that being said, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure to go to my Patreon page and if you want to support the channel. And now let's get right into the material. So we are now going to deal with the Arnowit Deser Meisner formalism. Okay, so these are three guys who are very important to uh, general relativity. They, um, we, maybe we can go over them historically in another video, but today we're going to go over the math of this formalism. We're going to not go too deep into it because this is, this itself could be a whole, it, its own course. We're just going to get our feet wet with this idea and then later we'll move on to tetrads because this is an important idea or important, an important concept to understand when it comes to understanding tetrads later and triads and all the rest so the so this is also called this is also known as the adm formalism so i'll just write right here parentheses a d m formalism all right so we now have all the tools ready to build this adm formalism for general relativity which is a crucial step for building a Hamiltonian uh, for general relativity, which is then we're, what we're going to be able to use to generate a quantum theory for gravity. <coughs> we start with constructing a time tangent coordinate system on our manifold. Okay, so our geodesic is this purple thing. Okay, our geodesic is so the geodesic is a line in space time. Now, the reason, again, it looks like this is because uh, we can only, I can only conceptualize so many dimensions. So our manifold is this thing and it can be n-dimensional. In this case, it looks like it's two-dimensional. Okay. But again, it can be n-dimensional. And our geodesic travels through our n-dimensional manifold. Okay. And it's a line element that travels through the n-dimensional manifold. And tangent to our line element is this t mu. Okay, so this is clearly a vector, right? So we need to have it labeled as t mu. And then we can also define a few other things, right? So we can define this n a. This is a shift vector, okay? And we can define this n, which is the lapse function. So what we're really doing is we're creating a coordinate system. And this coordinate system, so n, big N, little m, mu, and big N, a, and epsilon mu, a, this is, these two things are defining a coordinate system in which t mu nu, or t mu, sorry, is a vector within that coordinate system. Now we're going to take a look at the nature of these two things now. So we can decompose the time-like vector uh, t mu, which is tangent to the particle world line, in terms of these two guys, okay? So t mu, we can say is n, big N, little m mu, plus big N mu, okay? So big N, little m mu, that's the lapse function. So I'll just write down here the lapse function. So this is the lapse component, not the function, right? Because n is the function, right? n is the function. And, and this here is, uh, this is normal, the normal vector to our manifold. So this is how we're, I might have missed as I was explaining this, but this thing is normal to our manifold. This thing is tangent to our manifold. So maybe I'll write that down. Normal. To manifold this one's tangent to manifold or no to geodesic right to and this thing is going to be tangent to the manifold 
right? So this is tangent to the manifold. And without cluttering, I'll just keep it at that for right now. Okay, so we have, so this is our lapse function. This is our shift vector. We can replace our shift vector with the definition we have here. <coughs> Okay, and we'll see exactly what this thing is in a bit. We can define the time-like vector field in terms of the spatial coordinates on the manifold. Similarly, we can define the shift vector in terms of spatial components also. So this is where this thing comes into play, right? So this is, so we're defining by, we're doing this by definition. We're saying that T is tangent to the manifold or it's not, I keep on saying manifold, T is tangent to the geodesic, which means... Hey guys, what's going on? If you're interested in this video and want to learn more about loop quantum gravity, string theory, and so forth, what you can do is you can become a member of this channel and you can gain access to all the videos that become uploaded on this topic and future topics as well. Again, thank you so much for your support and thank you so much for watching this channel keeps on growing and growing, and I'm very excited to see where this is going to go in the future. So with that being said, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you like this kind of content. Make sure to become a member as well. Thank you, and bye.